This is Jeffrey from JMR Jewelry and today I'm going to be showing you the process of how I create a wax tree. I'm going to be showing how I do it from start to finish and the reason why I'm doing it is basically because when I first started off jewelry which was recently this type of stuff was a little difficult for me to get into so I'm just going to show the process of my way on how I get a clean cast. So first item that's going to be needed is the rubber base for the wax tree. Next needed is going to be the wax pen. This one cost me about $200, but there's cheaper ones on Amazon for around 30. Also needed is wax brews for the connections. And last but not least, the castable flask is going to be the last item that you're going to be needing. So the first step is going to be cutting the wax to make sure that it's the perfect size for the flask. So Right here, I'm basically just making sure that it was at least a finger over the flask so that none of the precious metal leaks through the flask when casting. Make sure that the wax sprue is nice and tight so that you don't have it falling over while you are putting up the wax tree because I've had that happen to me many of times and usually when it falls over, it's very delicate and it breaks easy. So just make sure that the bottom is nice and tight. Also make sure when you're attaching your items to your wax stem that you fully get all around it because if you don't it's easy for it to fall off when pouring in the investment and also it's easy for the investment to go through your cast and just basically ruin it. The main goal is to make sure that all of your pieces are firmly attached to the stem because if not, like I said, it will fall over or the investment can cause corrosity in your cast and just basically ruin it. Make sure that none of the items are attaching to each other because when they do, it's easy for them to stick and it's hard to get off. Usually what I do is I try to see if there's any disconnections. And if I see any, I usually just connect them real fast. Okay, so right here is actually going to be the exact ratio from wax to metal. So for example, on the top row I have 925 silver. That's going to be 10.4 times whatever the weight of the wax or resin is. Same with a 10 and 14 and 18 carat. All you have to do is multiply that number with whatever the weight of the resin or wax you have is. So for example, the 925 silver is going to be 10.4 times 30. And I'm going to get 312 grams, which is going to be the amount that I'm going to use to cast with. The next step is going to be taping it up so that it could be ready for casting. So if you want to see how I create the investment and do the full burnout and cast, go ahead and check out the next video that I'm going to upload. And also check out my eBay account. I have a couple things listed on there that I personally made by hand. So go ahead, check that out. Check out my Instagram, TikTok. It's going to be JMR Jewelry. So like I said, subscribe, everything. Thank you.